Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Tron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this one is going to be a variety attack video for Town Hall 9, showing a few different things that can also work in addition to everything you guys saw in the attack meta video yesterday. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out my last video, kind of showing what's working, what's not at Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. But because Town Hall 9 has so many attacks that we're seeing, Pretty much everything can work against the right base. I wanted to show a few extra attacks that kind of go beyond the attack meta and use some very interesting stuff that uh, people don't see very often, but they can be effective in certain circumstances. This first one being a witch attack, and this is, I think that says, uh, Spirit O Victory from Immoral Thieves, and he's doing a very cool attack here. It's a... Uh, a queen walk the star and then he's going to kind of send the witches the king all that stuff in separately So you'll see how it shapes up in just a moment goes ahead and drops a wizard down just to make sure the queen uh, Continues off to the right side a perfect hog there. It can basically get in there and get the the uh, Mortar taken out actually had to, had to send two hogs because one went flying through a spring trap But gets the air defense taken out as well then from there it'll lure out the CC troops now I'm not sure what the plan was for the CC because uh the hog is going to lure it, but I think the the angle it comes at makes it so the CC troops come out towards the witches and the bowlers. And pretty much, you know, there are wizards and, wizards and witches, but there there's nothing that, like the queen that's that good at taking out air troops. Uh, luckily, though, the poison spells take them out. So I guess it works out fine. Doesn't need the queen for those troops. There was a jump spell fail. Dropped that jump too deep inside the base. As a result, only a few troops actually took it because they had to go through one layer of walls. Uh, the rest are the witches, a few bowlers going to the outside. But luckily, he has enough in the core that he can get the job done. There's not that much inside the base, to be honest. A lot of point defense is pretty accessible from just walking around the outside. But the important stuff will go down uh, to the king, to the golem, and uh, to some of those bowlers. Goes ahead and pops the king's ability. They do make their way into the core here. And uh, as long as you get that core taken out in some way, it's okay if some of the witches start walking on you like they do there. Um, it wouldn't have been that good, though, if everything went to the outside. Because then they start getting taken out uh, as the skeletons get too far out in front and stuff. It's a bad angle uh, for the witches. But luckily, the bowlers, the golems, and the king, who I think is now dead... But uh, the other stuff got the job done inside the base, and the queen kind of meets up on the other side. All her healers are dead, but that's fine. She got, you know, tons of value, and uh, she still had her ability left up too at the end, which she pretty much swagged on that uh, on that troll Tesla in the corner. Let's move on to one more attack, and this one also very different. It is a dragon um, skeleton trap combination, also with zaps too. So right there, goes ahead and drops a balloon down. I think this is a cleanup, but he did not know there was a Seeking Air Mine by that Troll Tesla. Um, and that's kind of a good and a bad thing. He had to use two balloons, which I'm sure he didn't want to do. But also, that's one less Seeking Air Mine for his dragons to have to deal with. Now he sends in the king, the queen. Just wants to get that one air defense, maybe an archer tower, uh, two archer towers possibly. A few things like that. But the main thing is just that one air defense. That's all he needs. You'll see right here, um, the king will go down, the queen will go down very soon as well. Goes ahead and zap quakes the uh, next air defense and has uh, the three skeleton spells for that third air defense. Get it taken out. Um, no splash damage in the area, no heroes. Those can be problematic, but none of those. Also no Teslas, which can also be an issue. Just regular point defense, which isn't going to be that harmful to your skeletons. If you have two to three skeleton spells, you should be able to get that air defense taken out. Uh, so nice stuff there. This is Charlie uh, MX, by the way, uh, doing this attack. Now he comes in with the dragons here. Uh, you can see sending them in kind of... Uh, on that spot of the base that doesn't have a whole lot of you know air targeting defenses it definitely helps that the expos are pointed down that's quite a bit of damage that's not going to be uh, used at all in the form of those expos now drops in that lava hound tank for the air defense drops in some balloons has the poison for the queen uh, the balloons might have been a little bit early uh, it's hard to say because the queen starts taking them out and uh, within a few moments pretty much all the balloons are dead but the uh, dragons are still up and there's only a few uh, air targeting defenses left up. Uh, it was a good angle, good plan. Uh, you can see here that there's, he, he's able to, to be confident because sometimes towards the end of the attack, your dragons can peter out because there's so much HP between them and the defenses. 
that they slowly get eaten away by archer towers and stuff. That kind of is the case here, but there's only one archer tower and one Tesla left up. Right there, the balloon gets on that archer tower. So just the Tesla, and even though there was some point damage uh, hidden behind all these high HP buildings, not going to be an issue. Has enough dragons to get the job done. Time can be a little bit of an issue sometimes, but I think he got the dragons into the base quick enough to the point where he doesn't have to worry about that. Uh, so cleanup will take a little while, but eventually everything will go down. The balloon, that one balloon got great value. Just went from defense to defense while those dragons were tanking. That's one of the great combinations about the dragons and the balloons. It's how they can kind of one tanks for the other and they get the job done. So awesome attack to Charlie Mix. Hope you guys like this video. A little bit shorter, I know, but I wanted to uh, show a few variety attacks to add on to what you guys saw yesterday with the Town Hall 9 situation. Uh, but I'll have more videos covering different aspects of the game. Probably some defensive videos too at some point to keep you guys updated on that. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Immoral Thieves one more time uh, for letting me use some of their attacks uh, for a little while. So uh, two very nice attacks today, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.